Hello Zebraherd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where I try a new game every episode. Today we're trying the early access of Rogue Legacy 2. I loved the original Rogue Legacy a couple years ago, it is this really fun side-scrolling Metroidvania roguelike, and the sequel seems very promising. It's currently in an early access, and a big thank you to the developers for sending me a code to check it out. So with that being said, let's take a look at Rogue Legacy 2. The time has passed, and they have not returned. The estuaries have decayed. The kingdom demands deliverance. Sign the contract, and your children shall succeed you. Ooh. Wow. Wow, that's a much bigger castle than before. Once you cast off, There is no turning back. All right, well, now we know. So if you don't know, the original Rogue Legacy worked as when your character dies, you come back not as your character, but as the descendant of your character. So that's why it's called Rogue Legacy. You sort of follow the legacy of your ancestors trying to defeat this castle. So in the act of your story, you're going through generations and generations. So it's just, you know, very cool. But anyways, We'll see how it works. It's a lot prettier than the original, and the original was a really pretty game, so I'm happy about that so far. Hold A to jump higher. So of course, it does work as a platformer. So we can jump around a bit. What was over here? Oh, what is this? Unknown journal number one. We've managed to cross the waters undiscovered. A few guards patrolled the west walls, but we were able to remove them without raising a signal. At sundown, we'll start ascending the wall. Provisions should be waiting for us at the top. Jay, interesting. So let's keep going up. Press X to attack. Okay, I've been doing that, so that's good. Yeah, we have this big sword that we swing around with this really cool sword lady right now. Um, and like, it's been so long since I've played this game, or at least the original. Um, so I might be rusty, I might not really remember how to play. We've bunkered in here for the past few days as Z ha and her spies prepped the west wall. They've rigged the trap doors ahead so that we can open them from below. Tonight, we make our move. There are heavier patrols ahead, but with all the fighting at the bridge, there should be no time for reinforcements. Giant. Interesting. Um, what did that say? I guess, yeah, we can hold down an A to fall through platforms, so that's good. But I remember the game Rogue Legacy 1 being so difficult. I never beat it. I don't really remember how far I got, but I definitely did not beat it. In air, press down an A to spin kick. LB can also be used to spin kick, so I go. Oh wait, aha, so we can use that. So what if I did that and there was nothing around? You just, okay, I see. Gotcha, I think I'll use the, the left bumper instead. Oh, that's fascinating. But even if it's in the wall, you can boost off of it. And then there's another one up here. The diving bell cables we needed to pass the interior ramparts were waiting for us just like Z promised, but our scouts underestimated how much we need or a short, a few hundred feet. Looks like we'll have to get creative with this one, Jack. Interesting. Anything up here? Not looking like it. Might as well break these, try to get some extra coins out of it. But it looks like we also, I'm sure we're gonna run into this at some point. Whoa, whoa! Oh, there's like a teleport? Oh, I can't go back though. Let me grab those coins real fast. So that's a one-way teleport, gotta be careful of that. Hmm. Anyways, let's try this one out. Ooh. Shortly after taking damage, press A for aerial recovery. Whoa! So you can sort of bounce back and use that for platforming. But we didn't take any damage because of that then, right? Well, I don't think we take damage here at all because it's the tutorial. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, Let's keep going this way. There was a lot going on there. What was down here? Wait a minute, that had a big crack in the wall. Maybe there is something there. I'm trying to figure out how keen is this game with secrets. You see how it looks like a big crack? Hmm, weird. Might not be anything. Oh well, I checked it out. I did what I could. Well, let's get up this way for now. And we got ourselves another journal. Journal four. Looks like I've underestimated Z and her charisma again. Below me, I can see the heads of the, all the mis, mi, misfits that have joined our ranks. Why did, when did so many rebels join from here? It seems like an endless sea. 
This was supposed to be a suicide mission meant for only a few. She's unknowingly rallied these souls to a lost cause, and my mistakes keep growing. Well, that's not good. Um, anything up here? Not looking like it. I feel like in the original game, maybe you could wall jump, but maybe I'm misremembering. This is it, the end of the line. Below us, there's a trick door, which can only be opened with magic. Z says it should lead us straight to the estuaries. So this is it. Night we live and die with the sins I've committed. Oh boy, what is that supposed to mean? Uh, spells and talents cost mana, restore mana by hitting enemies. So we can hit this guy, as you can see. Mana's coming back to us. So we can then throw out that fireball and break open the wall, cool. Um, we also have another move here with the Y button. Oh, that's a shield. Why does it say that that needs mana? Maybe when somebody hits it, it uses up mana? Trick doors open only when struck by a spell or by a talent. I'm very curious if we can go back though, because there was that one hole in the wall. I don't know if it's worth it for right now, um, but it, it looks like we could go back, technically. Um, you know what? Sure, let's check it out. Um, it was down here, right? Whoa, look at us! Already finding some cool secrets. What does this one say? There wasn't supposed to be so many of us. It only supposed to be a small sacrifice to pay for the kingdom's stability. Just a few words to a few years. A reward for warning the kingdom of the incoming rebel attack. We were supposed to walk into a trap and be stopped. But he never planned to stop us. He wanted this war to happen. All I've done is given him time to prepare. Z, I'm sorry. I was just trying to save you. Win or lose, there's no redemption on my horizon. Interesting. So yeah, getting some extra story out of all that, that's always cool. And of course, like I said before, this game is in early access, so if when the full game comes out, maybe we can continue off. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. I usually don't do series on early access games, it depends on the situation, um, just because, you know, they're not finished. <laughs> but it's always a great chance to check them out for this series, so that's always fun. Um, anyways, we're good to go this way. And what do we got going on now? Hold, in air, hold down an A to kick trap doors. You can also use LB. All right, well that's cool. And down into the castle's depths we go. So we'll see how tough this one is. Citadel Agartha. Okay, so I guess there's a map here. We only have this one room. All right. I don't know what this door is, but we can go this way. And I guess get started with our little adventure. Now, like I said, these are roguelike games, so what that really means for this here, ow. Um, so see, that did not negate the damage. How do I get through this then? I guess I just, uh, do it. Oh, I can swipe, okay. So that kind of stuff I can destroy. But if it's like the first game, every time you enter as a new person, if you die, should be a totally different castle layout. It's random every time. Let's get rid of you. There we go. And there we go. So if I die the first couple of times, you know, it's uh, like that. Wow, I hit him once, but I guess it wasn't enough. Oh, my poor character. Lady Alex has been slain by a cut blade. You can exit out of attacks with long recoveries by dashing. So, I didn't do too well that time. But you know what, I'm a beginner. Oh, and I can choose my new heir. So we have different people here. We have Lady Susie, Sir Benny, Sir Joey, and with each one they have different stats. You know, something like uh, Lady Susie, the stable fable, good at everything and perfect marriage material. So I guess it's important to choose the right one because it might actually lead into further descendants. But with um, this one, a knight with good health, great sword, um, can attack while moving. They all have a sword, but I think at some points they can have different weapons. Shield block and shockwave blast your enemies away with an audible wave. But this person has something similar. The only difference for them is that they have flame barrier and then two traits. And traits are where things get really interesting. They have vertigo, so plays this character to reveal this trait, and cartographer plays this character to reveal this trait. We don't know what those traits do, but from their names, I'm guessing that, um, Maybe when they're up high, they don't do as well. Maybe the controls are flipped or something. In Cartographer, they'd probably have like a map. Um, and then this guy has, or this lady, has hollow bones, um, which probably makes it so that they take fall damage. So let's try Sir Benny. It might be more of a disadvantage to start with, as are you sure you would like to continue your legacy with the selected heir? Yes. But the sooner we figure out all the traits, the sooner we can sort of just know what we're doing. Okay, so we have the Universal Health Stair. Traits now give gold modifiers. Oh, so like, oh, okay. I can't get this right now. No, no, I can. Healthcare unlocked. 
<laughs> Welcome to the future. Your kingdom has decided to tax the rich to care for the poor. A contentious decision for sure, but let's see how it pans out. Certain traits now give gold bonuses. Interesting. So maybe if you choose a worse off character, they can give you more potential of getting gold. So there's a risk and reward thing to it. Interesting. And then there's other upgrades here, which I guess I have the points upgrade. We got the archery range. Before the invention of the archery range, most people practice by firing arrows at their neighbors. <laughs> Unlock the ranger class. Sure, I'd love to. Ranger unlocked, bows for foes. Rain down the pain and fletch foes from afar with an assortment of arrows. Rangers can't take a lot of hits, but they don't have to when they're shooting enemies from a million miles away. Uh, would you like to switch to the ranger class? Sure. You know, I should probably get used to what I'm doing for right now. Um, and I can upgrade this too, right? No, I can't. Yeah, like, oh, okay. So whenever I reach a certain level, I can do other upgrades. So I should, weird, I guess I, I'm not sure. Oh, cost and gold on. So I'm buying them with coins. So that's why it's so important to unlock coins. Oh, so vert Vertigo plus Cartographer. I guess Vertigo is everything is upside down. That's actually significantly more challenging than I would expect. Hello. One must pay the fee. All your, oh, I see. So that's something in the original game that I totally forgot about. Um, no, first off, note to self, never choose Vertigo again. Um, but <laughs> you uh, make sure you spend all the gold you can because before you go into the castle, you need to spend all of it. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. It can be complicated to learn at first, but since I was able to play the first one ever so long ago, I feel like that sort of helped me. Anyways, what does this do? Or maybe it is the same. No, that's right. Because we have Cartographer, they just naturally have the map. Oh, this is gonna be so tough. I wanna try the Ranger. So I can aim with the analog stick too. Wow, that's fancy. Ah, the, oh, I hit the spikes. So this is certainly bizarre. Whoa, watch out, he also is a ranged foe. There we go. This would be so much easier if it was right side up. Maybe there's a way we can find a solution to these uh, traits. Maybe there's like a cure to vertigo. I'm not really sure how vertigo works in real life. Ow, and I'm dead already. Wow, it's very easy to die. And it gets easier as you go along. You'll get new traits, you'll be able to level things up. Um, you'll be able to buy things with your coins, and it will slowly get easier. It's one of those games that starts off tough. Anyways, I think we will try a character with um, a sword this time. They have great sword, shield block, magma mass, and light sensitivity. Okay, so we'll see what that is. That might be difficult, but maybe not as difficult as Vertigo. Uh, and can we afford anything right now? Yes, there we go. We just unlocked the pillow fort is open. Don't let her height fool you. The enchantress is smaller than she looks. Uh, find runes for her and she can imbue you with magical powers, granting you the ability to siphon life from your foes, redirect damage and improve your magical repertoire. Oh, cool. So I guess we're like in, expanding the town as well. Latest are the night light sensitivity. So everything's a bit too bright. So that's why it's very interesting. Every character can have something a little bit different. Ooh, thank you so much for this extravagant tent. The ancient Ka flowing through it is so immense, it's, it's making me dizzy. Just kidding. I saw the price tag. The only thing making me dizzy are the fumes from all the cleaning agents I had to use. Couldn't you get a girl's anything better? I'm sorry. Well, beggars can't be choosers, so I decided to not be poor anymore. Now let's talk about magic with a capital M. Cause let me tell you, enchantments ain't cheap. Go bring me some of those sweet runic stones and I'll have you dancing around with a capital D. All right. Um. So Enchantress is hot. Interesting, so she gets, it gives us different magical upgrades. It's pretty cool. So I don't think there's anything more I want to do with my coins. We're just gonna leave, but we do get a 10% bonus because of our light sensitivity. So just lots of interesting things going on with the game in my opinion. There's not very many games where you're playing as the descendant of the character you just played and they might have an issue that none of the other characters had, you know? It just, it's really fascinating, really different. But oh boy, we're gonna go. All right, we got it, we got it. Oh gosh, gotta time this well. I did not time it well. Oh, I timed it really badly. Well, that person had a little bit more health. Good to know. Go, go, got it. So even if we only survive a couple of floors, it's important to do. Very important to do. Ah, uh, it's just, it's so hard to do anything without getting hit. 
All right, I gotta go quick here. Send him into the spikes. I can't quite, oh, I got a chest. I can't go get those coins out. What are we getting here? Leather weapon, a beautiful piece of weathered leather. Is that really better than what we currently have? I suppose so. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that. It is what it is. But we also gotta make sure we're destroying all of like the objects in the room as well because they could drop some coins or some health or something. And is there a way to see the map? Oh, there is. Okay, so we'll figure it out. We'll just keep chipping through. This is like the farthest we've made it so far. Oh my goodness. I didn't mean to really do that the way I did it. Ah, no. Oh no. Ah, oh, so I thought I could just swipe you away, but you just, it doesn't work that way. Well, that was interesting. Ah, what was that? I don't know. Uh, so we got slain again. But once again, that is just something that's gonna happen a lot. This person gets a ton of extra coins because they start with one HP. Interesting, with the Osteogenesis Imperfecta and then the FMF fan. I don't know what that is. I, I wanted to sort of have one that doesn't have too much of a risk. Both of these people have some of this. So you have IBS, oh, that's, so, okay. He's gonna fart a lot <laughs> and traits nostalgic. Plays this character, so this one's probably gonna be like all, like like a tone, like a filter. I think I'll just stick with this one then. Because you have the sword, the shield block, the searing shot, which is a Mr. Straight and Arrow. Interesting. And do we have enough coins to really upgrade anything? I don't think so, wait. Yeah, okay, so improves vitality, raises the max HP. And that's something that's really helpful. So now all of our characters will have better HP, but now, yeah, it looks all old timing. I like it, I like it. So I'll give you whatever coins I have left. This guy is the real winner. He gets so much money. Just for just riding this boat back and forth, back and forth. All right, well back into the Citadel. And hopefully we do a little bit better this time. We had some food there. I guess that we can just get out of certain things like that. So that's good to know. All right, come on. Oh, that was good. A sword guard has a lot of health. Ow, I tried to land on him there. It didn't quite work. Oh. But you can tell this game, it requires a lot of practice. It's not a game you can just sort of pick up and be good at right away. And that's fine. I think that games that require a lot of practice are typically a lot of fun, especially once you become well-practiced with them. But if I'm not doing so well, please don't judge me too harshly. Oh, that coin, I need it as many coins as I can possibly get. All right, there we go. But yeah, I would love to hear if you guys plan on getting this game or maybe, oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have done that, should I have? Now I can't get up there. I was too greedy. I, I guess you can climb on the lamps, no taken. Well, that was good. Oh, that's not good. This thing is usually the thing that takes me up, but we took them both out in one hit. Got some extra coins out of that. So at 187 right now. Pretty nice. Whoa. Got it. And we were already, oh my. In that room to the left. So far we're clearing out the rooms pretty productively. This is our best run yet. Whoa, eyeballs. Got it. And what about you? Whoa, just barely able to dodge that one. Oh, and you're on fire when I did that. <laughs> Woo. Close. Somehow, I, I guess I did take damage earlier, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so they sort of like go back and then they swing at you full force. Oh man, that almost got me. There we go. Oh, that's a teleport, which is great, but I don't know where it's gonna leave me quite yet. So if I could just save it for now, probably a better idea. Oh, and I got some food, so I'm back at the full health. How good is that? Very good. <laughs> I'll answer it for you. I mean, the question was rhetorical to begin with, but you know what I mean. All right, we took more damage. It is what it is. It's gonna happen eventually. But you really gotta pay attention to how the sword reaches the opponent. Anyways, that was great. I wanna explore more of this room now. So we've already gotten over 300 coins. This is definitely by far our best run yet. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Oh, what's over here, anything? No. Well, actually, there's a little bit way down this way. Wow, that's a new type of enemy right there. What's inside of here? Just some coins. We gotcha. So my mana's staying nice and high because we're not spending too much of it. 
Oh, that one I shouldn't have dived right into like that, but it is what it is. So I am starting to get, oh my, a little lower in health as the platforming gets a fair chunk more complicated. Yeah, can, could you go up here maybe? Oh, even that. <laughs> I'm a little worried about. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now how in the world, I mean, I guess now that I've taken, ah, oh, damage. I don't know if there's a way to do that, but that was definitely our best round yet. I'm happy about that one. Look at all the enemies we defeated that time. So we'll definitely go for a couple more rounds, but that extra 10% really went a long way. So do we want a ranger this time, maybe to figure some things out? This person has clumsy, but these two don't have any negative traits. So maybe we'll try this one so that we can try um, Magic 8-Ball. But Ivy Lookout, gain the high ground. I don't know what that's supposed to be. So we'll try this out. Maybe we'll also upgrade our skill tree a little bit. Uh, we have unlocked the mage class. We could do that. Mage unlocked, beards are mandatory. Masters of magic, mages have tapped into the primal elements that govern this world. But all that studying has its side effects. Firstly, one must always tote the sickest of beards. And that's it, no more side effects, okay. Um, so I'd not like to switch to the mage class just yet, but that's cool to see. Um, apparently, I can afford more, okay, what did I just buy? Increases max rune capacity, that's cool, but I don't know uh, what I do with runes yet. Increase health gain from meat, and in increases intelligence, raises spell and talent damage. Sure, that sounds nice. I have 100 coins left over, can I afford? I can, I can unlock barbarians. Barbarians say eating vegetables makes you weak. They, are all, they also have scurvy, so what do they have? So yeah, Barbarian Unlocked, welcome to Spin City. Don't let their bulky bodies and low IQ fool you. Barbarians are some of the most agile warriors in the kingdom. Armed with a powerful ax, Barbarians are a whirling wheel of death and more death. So we're not gonna switch to that right now like I said before, but still cool to see. Enter labor costs. Building, building castles is tough. Labor costs rise with each upgrade, making each purchase slightly more expensive. Consider how you spend your money, but don't worry too much. Inflation can be, can be easily overcome. All right, well, we only have nine coins left, so the boat guy's probably not gonna be too happy. But hey, look at us, we got our bow and arrow. Hopefully we can make the most of this. And I don't think we can enter there just yet. So, just gonna go over this way, and let's go. I'm glad you like your nine coins, mister. Guess it's better than nothing. Okay, so let's try to get another good round here. Maybe we'll be able to get even farther. Might not though, it depends on, you know, how much effort I need to sort of figure out being an archer instead. Oh, big bag of cash out of that. Oh my. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that stinks. That really stinks. Gotcha. Oh, but wasn't it, was it enough to take you down or was there just, did you have a friend here? I don't know. Very weird. So, so far, the Archer class seems like it needs a lot more like initial learning, bit of a learning curve with it. We do have maximum mana though, so maybe I could, oh, so it just makes platform, gotcha. I didn't know if it was gonna like raise the ground or something. Ooh, we have, oh, Z, J, the rumors are true, the golden gates are real and I found them. The gates will only open when all the estuaries have gathered together. I know it sounds crazy, but I have a plan to save everyone, but I can't do it myself. I need your help and some people I can trust, Z. Insight discovered, the return. So you can see, I guess, some different insights, which is like lore. Very interesting, I like that. Oh my, there we go. So certainly not the easiest uh, form of attack, but I will certainly work on it some more. It is unfortunate when the coins fall down there, but I guess I can get them pretty easily. There we go. Statue dropped some coins as well. Ow, oh, that was so unnecessary of me. Oh my, that really could have been bad. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, I think I need more practice before I can be a good ranger. That was fascinating though. We got some extra coins from it, so let's keep it moving. Now we got a barbarian here with Lady Alex. We also have a mage. Combative, play this character to find out this trait. Ooh. And there's also Treasure Hunter. That sounds like a good one. And there's Charismatic, so maybe this person makes less money. Who knows? Uh, we'll try a mage. And I wanna find out what Treasure Hunter is. 
and we have enough coins to maybe buy an upgrade somewhere, like Study Hall or maybe just more health. I really need more health. Uh, and we can also get Arsenal. It's like a gym, but with weapons instead of weights, improved strength, raising weapon damage. Sounds good to me. So our own personal castle is getting larger and larger. You can see it in the distance. Uh, Lady Julie, the mage treasure hunter, start with a random relic. Where is the relic? Oh, it's in the bottom left. How can I see that? Fates die. You have a 5% chance of instantly uh, to instantly defeat non-special enemies. Fascinating. So I have this, like, thing. And there's, like, a bit of a distance with it. That's fascinating. And I also have this. That can turn on and off. And then a the little blast wave. Cool. Let's skedaddle. We only have 10 coins, so we can't buy anything. <laughs> okay, this is the run. This lady with her beard and her pink hair. She's gonna get it done for me. We're gonna get really far with this one. Because I think that the castles are usually, like they're really big. There's lots to explore. All right. Nothing out of any of that. But it's cool that I don't need mana just for my basic attacks. Oh my. Oh, and that's where it gets tough. You need to sort of get used to keeping that specific distance and not just jump into something like that. That's just embarrassing. But that's where things get weird. How, oh, okay, there's enough of an attack range. Super weird, but I like it. Yeah, because of the sort of the area of effect, we can sort of attack uphill like that. Oh my, ah, uh, gotcha, oh, but they have friends, here they come. All right, I can get you from here, nice. Now you are a bit more of a, trouble to deal with. I don't like how they can attack. Oh my, uh, through walls at times. Now I don't know if I can get it, oh no I can. I'm good, I'm fine. Oh, can we get some extra health out of all this? I can get some extra mana, it's something. Oh, oh, we got her right away. Oh, that's my, my dice, my artifact. It has the chance of defeating, uh, non-special enemies, I think they said, immediately. So that must have been just a common enemy. Anyways, doing pretty good so far. Got 150 coins, Oh, Let's keep it that way. I'm trying to get this one now. I don't know if I will be able to. So that's sort of the limit to the mage, is that there's just some things that are a little bit difficult to work with. Oh, but it still works as like a bit of a strike. Interesting. Because normally you take four hits and it's enough to take me down, darn. I really wanna get a good round in here for today's episode, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, for right now, that didn't turn out so good. I think that, yeah, we'll try the Barbarian, something more, uh, I guess, melee based. So, it's called the Labrus Brute Efficiency. Uh, only ground attacks generate mana. Winter's Shout. AKA Aurora Borealis, destroys projectiles and freezes enemies for a short time and then fireball. Okay, sounds good to me. We'll give it a try, well for the best. We have 160 coins, which is enough to uh, do something, I hope. Oh, here we go. Offshore bank account, create loopholes and save on Sharon's taxes, unlocks offshore investments. Sure. I can afford it. Welcome to the offshore banking. Before being transmogrified, the living safe hid money for the rich to keep from the poor. Now that he's on your side, he doesn't seem so bad. A perfect, or a percentage of the gold you give the Sharon is held by the living safe instead. So now when we give money to the guy at the boat, it's not all given to him, so that's good. Yeah, I can't afford any other upgrades, so. Let's see, with 70 coins, do I have enough to get anything from you? I haven't found any runes yet. Wait a minute. Capacity rune. I don't have enough for it, okay. That's what I wanted to know. So you can see how much is in there now. Seven, hey, it's nothing. I don't know how I get the money out of there. Maybe it just goes to my total in the next round. I, I can only presume. So, in the meantime, let's get to it. So this is cool, wow, so. Barbarians are really cool classes, but they don't generate mana from air attacks. Ow. There we go. And that's sort of a problem, especially for enemies like those. Well, we're probably gonna be using air attacks. I, I, I don't think there's a dodge button, correct? Ah! Oh, so unnecessary. Oh, that was good. All right. As you can see, 
The Barbarian hurts. But, oh, I also see air attacks do significantly less damage. I don't know if these vines ever pop back up. I'm trying to be careful of that. But that's the problem, right? I can't quite reach you from the floor around here. Luckily, I don't even really have to. I can still get you. I like this class so far, very unique. Whoa, and these eventually fall. But, ah, my, my barrels. Let's get up here then, real quick. So I can just sort of, once again, get, get a good idea about what's going on. Oh, that's not cool. That is, ah, super duper not cool. Can I just get a chance, please? Thank you. Oh, the enemies around here are like way tougher. I wonder if this is like a new zone. It might be, so I should probably go back, but that's the wrong button. Um, I get a lot of coins. What does that do? I forget. I think it scares people away or something. All right, um, not what I wanted. There we go. Oh, food, I needed you. So that's gonna fall, the fire's gonna go off. Oh no. Oh, maybe I can just fall manually. There we go. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, and I have a good reason to be. Okay, now's a good time to try this. Oh, they're frozen! Oh, this is so tough with this character specifically because they're knocking in the air. Okay, come on. One more time. There it is. One more time. Ah, uh, please. Goodness, this is tough. There we go. Open that up, get some extra coins, and we're good. Let's get out of here. Man, oh man. Not an easy game so far. And he's immediately got me. It would be really nice if we had a character. Oh no, your poor toe. Um, it would be nice if we had a character that could have like a dodge or something. I know some characters have a shield. I wanted just like a normal sword character, to be honest with you. But we did really good with the mage for a little bit there, so maybe we could try that again. Sure, we have gravity beam, fires a massive beam. I just want one good round before we sort of finish up. So what can we afford? I can afford this, a good home needs a good foundation, unlocks a blacksmith, sounds like fun. Uh, the smithery is open. What the blacksmith lacks in creativity, he makes up for in age. Gather blueprints for him and he'll strain his tired bones to the limit in order to craft you the most exquisite armaments you have ever seen. <laughs> All right, sure. So I don't know if I can really upgrade or get any upgrades from him. Thanks for helping me build my black shop, kid. Uh, I ain't got a lot of, to my name, but I promise you, your investment into this here blacksmithery will pay off black wisely. All right. So, let's see, it looks like he needs blueprints. Get me some of that aphantasia. Can't see no pictures up in this noggin. Oh, okay, so he actually has it, the, the, that's the description of a condition where like you just don't see visually in your own mind. Um, I don't even call it a condition, it's just, you know, I don't know the word for it, but anyways, I'm sort of the opposite. I see everything in pictures. Anyways, he's a little chatty, so I'm just gonna keep moving forward. So we could buy the leather weapon. So we already got this blueprint earlier. It's 225 coins, so we can't afford it, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't know how we open it up, but maybe if it reaches a certain threshold, there's still seven coins in there. We could put another four. And hopefully we can upgrade that so it starts taking more and more. So, let's get to it. Hopefully this round goes well. Already getting some coins, so that's nice. There we go. Yeah, we'll just give this one our best shot. It might be the ra last round of, ow, the day. No matter what, but I'll certainly be trying. Oh, he is all over the place. Oh no. There it is. It's not too bad. <laughs> just takes a lot of effort. Oh, I, I didn't even see you. My immediate focus was the skeleton, who's now throwing bones at us. I got a bone to pick with you too, Mr. Skeleton. Got it. Oh man, that was close. And then let's get this guy right. Because sometimes you have enemies like these that like aren't defeatable, but this guy was, so that's good to get him out of there. Hmm. Yeah, let's go down for now. Ooh. Oh, it's locked, I need a key. Luckily, I have a character 
That makes this specific challenge not so bad. Oh, okay. You defeat all enemies. I get a fairy chest, which has a haste rune. You've got a need, a need for speed, increased movement speed. So we, of course, need to go and purchase that to unlock it, I think. That was fascinating. Whoa. One hit takedown. I didn't have the chance to respond to that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, for real, it's very addicting. <laughs> one more round. I really want to give this a try. Um, oh, Lady Michelle has actually a sword, but is tiny. <laughs> um, emotional dis dysregularity. I don't know what that one is. So we're gonna find out. Because I just want to play as a character with a sword again. Um, and also we have 121 coins. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to really get anything. It doesn't look like it. I can't see anything. So we're just gonna keep moving forward. Your, your tiny plus mana cost and damage increase by 100. Wow, so we're gonna be taking double damage and mana cost. Not good. That's a really good move though. All right, well, let's earn that mana back up real quick because I wanna be able to have that. But maybe we can get our new blueprint now at 110 coins, maybe? Let's talk to him and find out. No, we can't. What about that new... Nope, everything is too expensive for us. So maybe this will give us a good chunk of coins. 99 gold taken away. So that means two, 22 in total in there. All right. <laughs> Last round of the day, no, no matter what. But well, let's hope it goes well. Wow, we jump really high. So it looks like this lady does not let her smaller size make her disadvantaged. I can respect that. Oh boy. Gotcha. Oh my goodness, I somehow did not get hit there. That was great. Now you over here, can I do this? Will this go through the wall? It will, excellent. Not enough to take you out, but enough to weaken you so that when I go for you here, not too bad. Which is good, if I'm taking double damage, I need to be as careful as it gets. There we go. And I do have this, if I could save that there, that'd be excellent. I might have to go back for it already. Watch it. Oh, I can't get you from this angle. If we were maybe a little bit bigger. No, ah, come on, I tried to dodge it. I wish there was a dodge button though. I don't know what happened there, that was weird. Um. Anyways, we're just gonna jump back over, grab that health. That was good at the least. Okay, well she's not gonna jump down here, so that's a good opportunity to take. Gotcha. And I'm just trying to use our speed and our small size to our advantage, because it will make things easier to dodge. We got some good coins that were up to 250 of them. Let's just keep that going and try to go farther and farther. Yeah, I don't have enough mana even for like my shield right now. Okay, so I can destroy the couch. Now, Oh, come on, come on, come on. I can't attack these guys, I just need to get out of there. Wow. No oh, way, what am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do? Okay, somehow I survived that. Um, I'm going up this way. Ah, you're kidding! Oh my goodness, so as you can see, this game is ruthlessly difficult. It just keeps going. It just keeps hitting you with everything it's got. So I think that we would like to quit and exit to the main menu. That was our first look at Rogue Legacy 2. Very cool game, and I hope that everything goes well with the early access. If you guys are interested in this, let me know, and maybe we'll check it out when the full game releases. But for right now, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.